Sports Now. Good evening. The future of medical marijuana in Oklahoma is now uncertain, just days after the state approved emergency rules. Two lawsuits filed today challenge the new guidelines on State Question 788. News 9's Kaylee Bourgeois is live with the Health Department with a breakdown. Kaylee? Kelly and Amanda, both lawsuits claim that the health department took this one too far, but the two cases could end very differently. Uh, it seems like we found a little bit of a lawsuit, haven't we? John Frazier with Green the Vote says his group was blindsided Tuesday when the health department added amendments to the 788 guidelines. Really? No, no leaf? That is very upsetting. And then uh, pharmacists and ever dispensary? Frazier says Tuesday was the first time anyone outside of the department had even heard about prohibitions of the marijuana flower, pharmacist requirements, or THC limits. But the department passed those amendments anyway. So Green the Vote filed a lawsuit today against the state, claiming the Department of Health violated the Open Meetings Act. They say they hope they will be the only lawsuit. They aren't. While Green the Vote's argument is worded not to get in the way of patients wanting marijuana now, another lawsuit filed today is is much more broad and could delay the entire process. The issue here is medical marijuana, and that's fantastic, but the overall issue is the problem with our government in Oklahoma and their exercising of authority that they don't have. In a suit filed by several plaintiffs, attorney Rachel Bussett's argument challenges the health department's ability to make so many guidelines in the first place. Her approach could prolong access to medical marijuana depending on how it plays out at a hearing on August 7th. They could call a special session. The Department of Health could have an emergency meeting. The rules could be done properly. There could be a settlement reached between all of the parties. Now, I did reach out to the Oklahoma Department of Health today. They said they're not ready yet to comment on this until they truly understand what's going on in each of these lawsuits. On the scene, on the story in Oklahoma City, Kaylee Bourgeois, News.